Hey, I'm Bloggin' Brandy, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you all about how to create a product or service to sell to your audience. So, a couple weeks ago, we talked about how to come up with the perfect customer and how to build your audience. So, in this video, I figure we talk about how to go through the process of actually creating a product or service to sell to your audience. If you don't know me yet, like I said, my name is Bloggin' Brandy, and here on this channel, we create killer brands and amazing online experiences for startups and side hustlers like yourself. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're definitely in the right place. If you're in the beginning stages of your business, you might be wondering, what do I sell them? Which is why you wanna stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm giving you 50 ideas that I've already created to sell to your audience. Products can be either tangible, meaning that you can touch them and they're physical like this cup, or a product could be something that's non-tangible or intangible, which would be something maybe like this video. You can't really like touch the video, but you can watch it. Or if you have like an online course, something like that, that would be an intangible product. When you're creating products and services to sell to your audience, maybe on your blog, your website, social media, or your YouTube channel, you need to think about the fact that a product or service doesn't necessarily have to be your own. So an example of this might be affiliate links. So if you've ever heard of Amazon's affiliate program, it's just where you're picking up links and adding them to your blog and your social media and your email list and telling people, hey, click this link and get this product that I'm recommending and you're gonna get a simple commission from that. It's just an easy way to earn money and sometimes you can partner with other people to sell their products and services. There's different facets of how this can go down or maybe you find a product that someone else is selling and you decide how you can make it better. What modifications can you make? Can you put it in some type of kit or pair it with something else? Or can you maybe have this cup and put a handle on it and make it better? So creating a product or service to sell doesn't necessarily mean that you have to create it from scratch. It could be just modifying something that's already out there. And a really good example of this is private labeling. If you've ever seen the video about how I created my product or service, essentially I had a vape liquid, which are the pens that you smoke. And I ordered this product on Alibaba, AliExpress, and had these shipped over here from overseas. And it was just a horrible disaster because it was a regulated product, but essentially all it did is put my brand label on the product and sell it as if it was my own. So I really didn't even create a product to sell. I just rebranded someone else's and sold it as if it was my own product. Now the goal of creating a product or service to sell should be to solve a problem. There's gimmicks and all kinds of other products that you can create, but essentially the best idea is to create a product that solves a problem because people are gonna be searching for your product and needing your product, and if people need it, then they're going to want to buy it. When you're thinking about what kind of product could solve a problem, just thinking about this cup, for instance, the reason that this cup someone would even buy, one, maybe because it's cute, but for the simple fact that I don't have to waste a water bottle or throw away a plastic bottle, so maybe I wanna use this so that I can reuse it over and over and not waste plastic or contaminate the rest of the environment. When you're creating your product, you're essentially trying to get people from point A over here to point B over here. It might be that you're trying to get people from point A to point D, and you just might be that little C. So you might not have the whole puzzle. You might just be a piece of the puzzle at this point. But eventually, your products and services could be the whole puzzle. So don't go so big, just start somewhere. So the other thing to remember when you're creating a product or service to sell is the fact that people buy feelings, not products. So they're buying a feeling. They're buying the fact that, hey, if I buy this cup, I'm not going to be a horrible person and destroy the environment. I'm actually going to save some plastic and save some water bottles and save the earth. And 
I'm going to reuse it time and time again. That's the goal of this product, but it might not be the goal of your product. I'm just saying that elicits a feeling in people. So they're buying it because of the feeling, or they might say, oh my gosh, it's so gold and shiny and pretty. Want that cup. It is a feeling that they get. On that note, you wanna make sure that you're selling people some type of emotion, whether it be pain, that people are in pain. If you think about a doctor or Tylenol, they always have business because people always have headaches or they're sick or they need something that they can't get somewhere else and a doctor can make them feel better. Urgency is another. When people feel an urgent matter and they need a quick solution, that's a really good time to kinda like swoop in and give them them a solution to their problems or think about the fact of emotion people buy products because of an emotion that they feel if you ever think about birthdays when people have babies or celebrate their birthday that's a really big occasion and people are really emotional or if it's a wedding day people are really emotional on their wedding day and they're like oh my god she's getting married it's gonna be the first time she ever does this or the only time and this is my kid so people spend a lot of money on that the other thing that people spend a lot of money on or don't really care about money at that point in time is when they're grieving. I know it sounds really bad, but if you ever hear about Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank, he always talks about he really likes birthdays, weddings, and death because when people die, they spend money or people will spend money on them because they're like, oh my gosh, they're gone and they're in a really emotional state. So it's another time that you can kind of think about an emotional reason to sell to people. Two things that you need to know when you're developing a product or service. The first one is what are you providing a solution for? What's the solution that you're providing? So what are you selling? And then the second thing that you need to know about selling a product or service or developing one to sell is who are you selling to? So who is your ideal customer, which we talked about before in the last video. You want to have your customer persona down. So if you know what you're selling and you know who you're selling to, then the rest should be easy, right? Now you know how to create a product or service to sell. But I know when you're getting started, it can be a little hard to kind of come up with some ideas. So don't worry, I've got you covered. You can pick up my list of 50 product ideas to help you get started below this video and that'll help jar your memory or give you some things to kind of get started with. Next week we're going to be talking about how to actually test your product idea that you've come up with and beta launch that to your audience and the process for that. But until then, if you like this video, hit the like button below with those beautiful thumbs up. Share it with your friends or someone you know might benefit from it. I'm Blogging Brandy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe.